when I came here on Sunday to see Joyce. We had a chat and she was um, conscious. She asked me about what was going on in Bomet. She asked me about whether she could go home. And uh, with Edwin here, we told her everything was under control and all she needed to do was to look after herself and give opportunity to doctors to look after her. Unfortunately, today, Joyce has left. With the amount of pain that uh, she was going through, with the level of uh, medicine that she had to be given so that she can overcome the pain. I think God has finally rested Joyce. I visited Joyce in the hospital in London about um, six weeks ago. Then she was strong. Um, she was in little pain, but we could have a very good conversation. But ten days ago, when I went to see her at the ICU at uh, Nairobi Hospital, she had completely changed, and she could see she was in pain, terrible pain. So um, I think that this has released her from pain. It is a big blow to the people of Bomet and the nation at large that we have lost at this critical time. At this moment, we all stand in solidarity with our family, family of Dr. Bonio, who have had to endure this for this long period of time, potential suffering. Uh, we will stand with them and more will be said in the future. But the entire nation of Kenya is in mourning. <laughs>